Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Delve. Today we're continuing work on our demolition derby project with a twist. Now last time we retooled the car controls in an attempt to improve them and also fit them into our new vision for the project. Today we're continuing to build on that new vision by adding a new twist to the game. So today we'll be adding said twist to the game and also focus on making sure it interacts properly with our car code. So let's make like an M. Night movie and get to that twist. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now it's time to get to the next part of our little shindig here. Shindig? I don't, that's the wrong terminology. It's, it's fine. I'm just, you know, I'm excited for what we need to do next. So we'll call it whatever we want to. We'll call it a, a duck if we need to. But we're going to need a nice, beautiful circle. Not a perfect circle, but it's a circle enough. It's circular enough. Let's not make it black. You know, let's let's stay with the vibrant colors here. We've got a whole we've got a whole rainbow of colors. Let's make it sure. Nice bright, vibrant, pastel red, pink, possibly. So what we're adding here is the new addition to this project, and it is, yes indeed, a bomb. So basically my idea here is it's part destruction derby part kind of like a dodgeball situation now truth be told really i sort of uh came up with this new concept uh by playing lucio ball from overwatch wouldn't it be cool if you're running around and everything but the point wasn't to score a goal it was to you know attack or try to beat your opponents with the ball you know and I realized by putting balls and cars together, I'm sort of making a Rocket League thing. So I guess technically I'm making sort of something based on Rocket League by accident. I don't know. So it's basically like dodgeball meets a destruction derby. That's what I'm getting at. Now, there are other modifiers that I'm going to be adding in that will be, uh, you know, transferring over from the old project. But this is the new approach that I'm taking. So it's part destruction derby, part dodgeball in, in a sense if you will so we need a couple of variables we need my direction and my speed there we go so we're going to be using lovely motion set again my direction my speed at least for now so uh, when we uh, collide with the player we want to change direction so my direction becomes point direction x y other uh, other dot x other dot y put that on parentheses and then we 180 it so that we go in the opposite direction of the way that we just got hit from the player also my speed equals other dot uh got my, my own ver drive speed that's right it's called drive speed yeah you know what screw real physics we're just gonna assume we're just gonna we're just gonna inherit the player's speed and let that be that. Now, if we hit a wall, we want to do uh, my direction equals again point direction x y other dot x other dot y minus one eighty. Oh, minus one eighty. There we go. Now my speed equals my speed divided by two. Let's just do two. You half your speed when you hit a wall. Okay. So I have no idea if that's going to work. We're going to see. We're going to drop the ball into the playing field and see how it reacts. And start to laugh when it doesn't work the way we think it's going to work. Ah. And boom. Okay. Kind of might work. Hold up. Hold up. Nope. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Ball. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. We're still learning here. Hmm. 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 Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, why is that still going? Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. Yeah, okay. So my speed is greater than zero. My speed minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. There we go. So eventually we should stop. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hold up. Wow, it just magnetized. What? Okay. Um, I gotta try and get into a position where I can back up into the ball. So, okay. 
Interesting. 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 Okay, let me try something else then. Let me try other dot direction. Other dot image angle. Minus 180. Let me try that. Boom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get out of me. Get out of me. Uh oh. Ah. It's so weird. It's so weird. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Let me just... Interesting. Okay. Okay. We might have answered our issue. So by adding my speed plus the speed of the player, that means we get an accelerated, accelerated push. My speed is greater than... Let's say two, or let's say three. No, no, let's say two. Speed equals two. So the fastest it should be able to move at all is two. Okay. Boing. That's the... Okay. Still gotta figure out the, the whole weirdness here. Uh. Uh. Yeah, okay. I think we might be able to remedy this. Because right now, the bomb has no weight for the player. So I think if we add in a knockback for the ball... Or the bomb, I should say. I keep calling it a ball. Okay, so if the ball gets hit by the player... Uh, with the player... Hopefully this is gonna work. Um, so here we go. We'll just copy the wall code into here. So if knockback is zero... Uh, knock equals point direction. All right, let's see if that even does anything. I might want to re... Oh! Ooh! Ooh! I like that. I was going to see, I might need to rewrite the, the entire knockback code for the player. But nah, it's working. That, uh... The hitbox is a little awkward. Yeah, let's, let's do a... Let's do a more precise collision on that. There we go. Ooh! Ooh, I'm liking that. So how does it do when we back up into it? Boom! Boom! All right, there we go. We fixed it. So now the collision issues shouldn't be as apparent. Let's see. So the bomb has weight now. It uh, and it doesn't meld with the with the player. Oh, and if it does, it sort of just pushes us out because we have the knockback. <laughs> so at least for now, it works the way that we need it to, and it really helps. Uh, th there we go. Eventually, it should stop moving. I shall stop moving. Why does it keep moving? Okay, hold up. We need to figure that out. Excuse me. All right, HUD. Tell me what the speeds on this ball are. Let's hit the ball first. There you go. 0.5. Why isn't that... Oh, it's 0.05. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Isn't 0.05, like, greater than zero? Is it like impossible math, so it's like stuck in some kind of weird purgatory of like not quite zero, but zero? I don't get it. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see what's, ha what's happening. It's dividing its number. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's the issue. It was hitting the wall and it was dividing its speed. It was dividing its speed so so incrementally that we were getting those 0 0.0s working a little bit better at least it's the, the the speeds are working properly so there's that all right well that'll do it for this episode of let's dev remember that if you enjoyed this video or you enjoy let's dev in general be sure to hit that like button if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on the new twist, aka the bomb, in the comment section below. I always love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.